truck road and it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wait. Unexpected item in bagging area. Remove this item before continuing. Today's another edit day. Being in the office, getting some lunch, and uh, I've got one edit to do. And then once I've done that, I'm kind of sort of planning for a big kind of massive meeting that's going to be taking place tomorrow. And um, obviously preparation for all of that. Not in the office, not filming any houses tomorrow. Uh, actually going to a place in Leicester to have a bit of a meeting but yeah been using the uh, the Insta 360 even though it has got the scratch see what it's like in preparation for holiday four days to go making my way back from Tesco's there was a little package for me yes a nice little package What a nice surprise on my Wednesday. A three pack of socks from Sold Socks. Thanks very much to Sold Socks, really appreciate it. And I will be doing some form of review of these in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that one. Today has been pretty lame. All in all, it's been very much an edit day. Again, it's been very much trying to get through any kind of backlog of uh, edits that we've had on the burner. And uh, tomorrow, and I'm sure I sort of said this earlier on, but it is a company retreat. So it's basically the company that I work for rent somewhere for a couple of days that have you know decent facilities hot tub swimming pool snooker room you know whatever good, good facility to house basically everyone and basically go through what's going to happen with the company going forward and just to be in the know really and i'm really looking forward to it we've got to be over in leicester at the property in the morning and staying there overnight and then we'll be there throughout the Friday morning and then I'll be back to shooting one more house video on Friday afternoon before it's the weekend and the final preparations to go away. So um, not that long to go before the holiday but what I've got left today, now that my day is over, are two haircuts to go and do. And then I've got some editing to do from a bit of a personal project that I did on Saturday. And then I'm probably going to be editing this vlog. So um, yeah, plenty of stuff for me to be getting on with till the early hours of the morning. So uh, I will catch you when these haircuts are finished, just in case anything interesting happens. So 
So I uh, finished that haircut all done on to the next one but I did want to mention something and I wanted to just express a little bit of disappointment it's you know it's not saltiness it's not bitterness it's just one of those things where you win some and you lose some and I put my name in the hat for the Nike Sakai raffles now the Nike Sakai's are a collaboration sort of reimagining of the Nike waffle and um, when they brought out the original colorways I wasn't one able to afford to buy both those and the Travis Scott Jordan ones I just couldn't afford it but they weren't my favorite colorways and I had seen that they were bringing out a pair of black ones white ones and these pink ones as well but when no one knew and I just thought, do you know what? I can forego these particular colorways knowing that obviously I've got preference for the Jordan 1. And when these new ones come out, I'll go pretty hard for the pair that I want, which is the white pair. And the Offspring raffles launched and probably were the fastest Instagram raffles I have ever seen being cut off in under a minute or a minute and a half if not less without the opportunity really to be able to even read what you were supposed to do to be able to be involved I just didn't I, did, I couldn't read it and type that fast and they did them individually in the colors I missed out on the blacks I missed out on the whites but when it came to the pink pair not my favorite color yet at the end of the day I was going to put my name in the ring whatever and I got in there, managed to get in, it got cut off super fast and then they did the draw over this week and I didn't get picked. So I don't win offspring raffles all the time. There's a bit of a misperception out there that I win continuously and the same old people win. It is not the case. And one of the things that I need to address as well is that earlier on in the week, there was a post that was put on by Offspring and it was a picture of a white brick wall. And at the time, I get the notifications coming through on my Instagram and I was in my living room, I was playing with my little boy, we were messing around, he was jumping on me and, and just being a typical little boy. And I saw the post, I went onto it and I thought it looked like an engagement post without paying attention to the words. And the words said that basically that anyone that commented on it would be instantly banned and that it was related to obviously bot activity. And I commented stupidly without reading that post. And I commented something along the lines of, it's like talking to a brick wall. Well, maybe that's what Osprey think of me talking to a brick wall in me making that massive mistake but thanks to a load of friends of mine in the community they sent me a message literally instantly the minute they saw that post and they were like delete it Ty delete it Ty get it deleted and I got straight on and I deleted it before that post got cut off but unfortunately there are some people who don't always like basically double standards and I can totally agree with that I am not one for double standards and because I commented there are people that believe I probably should have been banned from being able to enter raffles on offspring and I'm honest and I would agree with it that if I hadn't have deleted my posts as fast as I did and it was still there after it had been cut off I could accept a ban I hold my hands up I made a mistake but because I deleted it before the cutoff, the comment wasn't there and Offspring didn't ban me. Thank God, in my opinion, for my lack of observantness. But someone took screenshots of it and they posted it out on social groups. They posted it out throughout the community. And it's probably maybe the reason why maybe I'm not going to maybe win many raffles for the foreseeable future because I didn't obviously play by the rules so it is my own fault and if I don't get picked for raffles in the future then that's my punishment and I will gladly accept it but when it comes to double standards if you made a comment and you didn't delete it in time and you didn't pay attention and you don't have those people around you that look out for you then I'm sorry if you got banned I really am but the sneaker game is ruthless 
absolutely ruthless. And that's the be all and end all of it at the end of the day, is that if you do not follow rules, you open yourself up to the risk of being struck off the lists, struck off from opportunity, and I'm just super lucky that I've got really, really good friends in the community that let me know when I've done wrong or done bad or made a mistake, and if there's a way to rectify it, I will. And that is my offspring rant done. And at the end of the day, we all like sneakers, but they're only sneakers. And there's always other opportunities with other stores. And, you know, I will continue to shop at Offspring. It's not everyone's favorite store these days with the way that things are run, but I've been given so many opportunities by them, I can't not. And I've been shopping there since the mid 2000s. On that note, I'm gonna stop the vlog for today. There isn't really anything else interesting that I can talk to you about. So uh, I will catch you tomorrow morning where we'll be going to the retreat. See you then. All of your Tesco points add up.